Dustin Bones. D- oh, okay. Dustin oh, Bones is a is a song I wrote about an experience I had <clears throat> years ago when I was a young late teenager, early twenties, trying to be a traveling poet troubadour, kind of looking for adventure. And I got picked up hitchhiking on Route 50 late at night. And as soon as I got in this cat's car, I was like, this was not a good idea. Mm. And I ended up jumping out of the red light in Easton. Smart. And, uh, but that, that, that's the way that song kind of came about that song. from. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 that, 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 you know, I did a lot of stupid things when I was a kid, but I was looking well, for that. adventure, you know, and I, I would just take off. A little more than you wanted. Just more go. More adventure than you. Yeah. That was more adventure than I planned. I think that was probably the last time I did anything like that. Well, the second CD's darker than that, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't say it's dark and like a ball house or kind of like <laughs> it's, it's kind of shadowy. Yeah, you know, yeah, and, you know at, the, at the risk of um, b- being too labeling, which I don't mean to mean to do, um, and I don't want to cast any dispersions on there by saying, "Well, this is a dark <coughs> record. This is the you know this is the right." This well, I, I kind of offered that up, so I'm yeah. Happy. Well, okay. That was his interpretation. That was my interpretation. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Other people might not see it as, as, as like that. I don't. I um, didn't. I didn't. I mean, are you talking lyrically or, or musically? I think he's talking lyrically more. Okay. Than Probably anything. lyrically more than anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. How so? Because I don't uh, uh, um, That's a good question. Um, we could play a song and it would probably do that. Probably. Uh, what would be a good good example of that? Folks that are tuned in on the uh, Google Plus Hangout on the air, I'm not certain that we're going to get the audio. One street over, a red one. Uh, we'll we'll work it out. We'll work you it can. out. How about Thousand Mile Stare? Oh, that's my favorite. Thousand Mile Stare. Now that's an interesting song. Yeah. Is that a dark song? Song? Uh, not not really. <laughs> I mean, they're all positive. They're all positive. They're just a little shadowy. All right. So um, a positive song in a, in a shadowy way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> With this lighting here, it'll be right. okay. Yeah, and I, I think so I already stated plan. that this was my probably my I, if I had to pick, but I've only heard them. It, it, okay, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't pick it. He did. I know, he I did. Know. So, what do was, you, was that my pick? Thousand Miles Thousand Miles That's a good one. What's the song about? Um, about three minutes. It's about three and, and, and a half minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thousand Miles Stare. Thousand Miles Stare. It's twenty anything seconds. You know to be. Forthright, I guess it's probably the most autobiographical thing on the record for me myself. Okay. Um, like, like I said, I write in more of visual, you know, instead of a straight. Um, you say so I just kind of song is a movie then. Yeah, you can close your eyes and it like puts it out there. So this one is about a superhero who can actually see a thousand miles. F for a thousand miles. Seriously? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so my, I was gonna say when I heard it, it was more romantic in my mind. Well, well he's a romantic superhero. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I just kind of look back at my early twenties, and it's just kind of the scene where I was in and where I was at at the time, and that was that's where the song pretty much comes from. Yeah. 